Yeah, I think when comes to when it comes to the topic of obesity, it's becoming more serious nowadays. Especially they are occurring due to like some kind of convenience foods or junk foods which people n- now become more accustomed. So I think this problem uh, obviously need to be labeled it as a disease. The reason why as a result of obesity, high number of people are just uh, di- dying nowadays. This is this is becoming like common problem. Uh, how can I say? Living with a high weight uh, can stunt the life of people. As well, while you are walking, it can become more difficult or just yeah in my opinion this is always to label them as disease this is not just kind of being fat this is uh, like obesity means uh, a- a- other serious problem rather than just being fat in my opinion okay let's say that it's disease okay what can we do we couldn't say people that they should eat uh less than normal we couldn't uh say them that you are too fat and you should eat less food don't eat so much or what we can do to dispose of this problem in society i think that it's not all about what eating too much um in my opinion the most of the people nowadays prefer to eat fast foods because they are, you know, um, for preparing some food, uh, you uh, you just spending time, five or fifteen minutes to prepare it. But uh, when people are in outside, uh, after their education or after um, you or for example in lunch, they prefer to eat fast foods, and also it's more cheaper than uh, go to the restaurants and eat uh, some like, yeah what i mean expensive food uh food that is useful for the health i think for this reason that um people don't have time and don't have like um they can't they can how can i say um prefer for themselves to eat healthy foods because uh when uh they they don't have time they just prefer to eat fast foods I think it's uh, better and faster for them. I think it's not uh, only it's not only about time because there are some people who just like to eat fast food, like to eat as much as possible, like to eat some meals in the evening. They just like it, and for them, it's not a problem that they are fat. They maybe don't know. Maybe they they know that it can lead to some fatal disease but they don't want to stop okay can we uh can we stop this disease or it's just uh about people's decision i think that surely if people uh want to just stop eating fast food they can stop it if people uh, don't want to stop eating fast food or uh, prefer to eat, uh, can I say, healthy food, they are eating it. Everything is belong to people, you know. We can just say, stop eating it. If people like it, if people love it, if um, it's like bringing some kind of uh, skin eating, skin eating for them, they're just eating it. You want to say that we couldn't pretend it, yeah? Yes, I mean that uh, if they want, they can do it uh, without listening others, how can I say, opinion, you know? If they want to be thinner or if they want to um, eat healthy foods, they can do it by themselves. Like, hokush. I'm sorry, guys.
it's really big problem so you think that we couldn't do anything yeah maybe we should teach them we should uh how can i say explain them the way maybe maybe we should uh have a diet in workplace what do you think uh can we do something in the workplace or in schools yeah even if we are going to um, keep diet obviously crash diet would be more better i think crash uh yeah no i mean not crash diet balanced diet in my opinion so balanced diet keeping regular exercise every day for getting rid of obesity or just uh not restricting all the foods you are going to eat maybe just restricting the amount of them someone eats you uh, during the day so this means balanced diet in my opinion but crash diet or just uh restricting eating foods for particular time just leads to being how can i say yeah like leads to some serious illnesses this not uh getting rid of uh extra fat in our body this uh, op opposite problem in my opinion you know it's not problem of a diet everyone know that we should eat healthy food we uh doctors say all the doctors say all the time yeah you should uh keep a diet you should do exercise but nobody matter maybe because of having no information about this thing they really don't understand uh that they will die because of their bad habit to eat all the time or they think that it's just a problem maybe they don't know about the fatal end maybe they just don't know how we can do it how we can pretend it everyone knows about diet everyone knows about exercise but most people just don't want what we, we can do for example in my opinion in a workplace there's uh, a great opportunity to solve this problem i mean you know that in every workplace there is a lunch time and instead of uh, having a lunch time they can just give to their workers special meal in a special diet i mean and by doing it they pretend them to spending money what do you think is it possible to do of course it's possible and um it's related for the you know the director or the like a president of that company it's problem like with alcohol you know that in a workplace worker mustn't drink some kind of uh, drinks so it's this situation can be also solved by this way i mean they can ban to drinking uh drugs so why they can't uh stop to uh, stop just lunching uh, time for lunch they just can pretend it if they want therefore the government should take care of them in my opinion we ju we should just um it's not about fun you know in a, in a nature look in a nature animal aren't fat so why because uh, by the nature our brain has the ability of saying stop to us but by eating much food we just uh lose the this ability to say stop and it's also because of childhood every person has the same number of um the same number of vitamins the same number of um special places in which there is uh, 
effect maybe there is in oil in our body. So when the baby grow up and the parents started to give them give them food too much food this kind of place starts to be bigger and therefore when they are adults they became really fat it's because of their metabolism also Okay, let's move on to the next topic. So, um, what do you think? The sale of human organs should be legalized. Is this opinion right? It's, I think that it's really serious problem. It's really serious issue maybe in uh, our society. So what do you think? Should we legalize? Should it's legalized by the government? What I didn't catch the question. I'm sorry. I'm also. Could you say that? Can repeat the question? Yeah, yeah, for sure. The sale of human organs should be legalized. What do you think? Is it right? Um. You mean, like it should be? It should be made like legal. I mean, it should be allowed by government for people. Yeah, I think. Yeah, to um, sale human organs. Totally no. It's I think just strange to allow people to sell their organs. <laughs> Just for now, it's becoming more common between people. They uh, to purchase something, they are just how can I say they can afford to sell their organs. Yeah, if they are two or how can I say if they have two or like that, and this seems like stupid, stupid idea. This can lead to illness or to death of them, but they don't care about that. Just this can be known like that. Maybe money is replacing even the life of people. What do you think? Let's look at the question in the other side, in the opposite side. For example, I have a disease which is related to my brain, but my heart is in the best condition. And I know that I'll die. But my friend has disorder with his heart. My heart is normal, but I will die. So can I uh, receive some money by helping people? It's not just about money. I can help to my friend. I can give him or her my heart because I will di die. And this heart will be in a, just in a, in a, how can I say? The heart can be useful for other people because there is no need to use it for me because I will die. It's, it's obvious that I will die. I can uh, give my heart to someone else to help them. And of course, maybe they will give money to my family, especially if let's imagine that I'm a man, I'm a 50 years old and my family depends on me. So I should give them money after me who will take care about them. So I can just give my heart to another people, to another person who really needs to, uh, to do operation with it. What do you think about this side of problem? I in think this in case... many countries, um, like it's already legalized. It's been legalized to donor or trans transplant organs, whether either it's lungs or liver, but it has to be based on law. And there has to be a letter of approval that you um, like you can 
take my organs or anything like that. But I guess that um, in our countries, illegal um, transplant transplantation exists when people um, sell their organs or they are kidnapped and they are sold for organs for donors. I think this is. Oh yeah, this is not good. But I guess that most countries legalized have legalized transplantation. But you can speak. Yeah, you can speak. But you should ask the permission of your family, of your friends. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Like, uh, I want one thing out of right, like, right now, theme. Why some people cannot join us? They are uh, asking us to send links, but they can't join it. What's wrong? Yeah, yeah. Most people are not joining to us because of some problem. I think it's problem related to Telegram. They should do don't let download the new version of it. They're saying that it's impossible. Okay, if we can, I want to ask one question from you. Some, well, for instance, in those in those days. Teenagers are struggling with mental disorders, but they are overlooked as um, those people who want attention. Do you think that parents have to be much attentive to their teenage children in those age? They should take care of their children in any age, and especially in this difficult period, of course, uh, they like many people think that it's just they want to have an attention, and it's also normal to want to have an attention. It's normal for us, for people, to want to laugh or to want to uh, attention. It's normal, and they should take care because who else will do it? There yes. are who just haven't any time for their children. What do you think? What should they, should they should they do? I guess that uh, in teen in those periods in teens, teenagers are struggling and feeling a sense of loneliness. Whenever they struggle with particular issue they try to isolate themselves and try to communicate less. This times whenever children are told about their personal problems or negative thoughts that always come out in their mind, parents regard them as those who want attention, who are seeking attention, but they are only using, only telling their inner inner thoughts and feelings in order to cure this, let's say, particular illness. Yeah, and I guess that this is ma mainly due to um, due to social media or environment. They are right now they face with really brutal and abusive um, peers who can even prosecute them verbally or are using coercion to intimidate them and so so much stuff and this leads to particular um, mental disorders and even it could lead to have uh, suicidal thoughts a teacher also should oh sorry speak sorry hello ladies and gentlemen how are you doing so um i think um that people need to be busy 
with something educational. If the parents give them to any tutorial, like um, if they are busy with the education, there wouldn't be any problem in this time. But anyway, the majority of our children, like in generation, are just addicted to the social media and it is destroying the mentality and the mindset um, are going to be so poor. Mm, so one, only one, I guess, the best solution is um, doing, the, doing them busy with the education. Yes, this might be true. Um, Launching yes. such a tutorial. Yeah, and as well, education is the best way to get rid of tension. And furthermore, there is something to say. Children need to be busy with the thing they like or they are so into doing. If they enjoy the thing which they are doing, mm -hmm. I think there might be any stress or depression they could take. So m most children nowadays are forced to do something by their parents or by others, and they couldn't do something they want. In this, in this case, it's possible to suffer mental disorders, in my opinion. No, it's incorrect. I know so many friends who are really busy. It's not about business. It's not about later time. There are some people who just uh, work all the time. They aren't, uh, how can I say, they are maybe deaf and tired. They don't want to show others their uh, condition. They It also can lead to depression. You know, it's really a uh, difficult time for people when they want to socialize with others but they couldn't because of uh, having no time. I think that the education or doing something isn't the best solution. Uh, the best solution is go with them to the special, uh, special person who knows about this because you know everyone wants, wants to help others but they know they have no information about this kind of disease uh, these situations when they they are lives full of stress they have no friend to speak they have nobody and just they just keep doing something it will lead to depression when somebody is in this situation uh it's uh it doesn't matter will you say oh just don't give up keep doing or just work it's just uh it's because of your leisure time no the stupid guys it's really serious problem it's not about leisure time as you said it is exactly the problem of um those of pro of the problem of t teenagers has to be seriously considered. Um, the, f the feeling of isolation and loneliness actually caused many teen deaths. We have to take this really seriously and deal with it. In those cases, sometimes parents are blamed for being main culprits of their children's death. The timely are unattentive towards their children mental issues but do you think that parents do not pay attention to them because they don't have time or because they don't want what's the main reason why parents don't want take don't want to take their teens mental issues seriously Maybe they just uh, don't understand the meaning of this kind of disease. They just go to the doctor, go to the special special person. Of course, every parent loves his child, but sometimes our parents just have no time and have no opportunity to do this. It's also because of financial side also. They should work all the time to give us food, education, and other facilities. I just want um, yeah, let me speak. Okay, please speak. Um, so, yes, of course, uh, it's, a fault. it's a fault of the parents. Um, in the first place, and the parents need to 
be open-minded with that child, um, right? They need to make the attitude as the children can tell every of the secrets and feelings and problems in their life to the parents without any hesitations. Um, yeah, at first, the parents need to take care of the children from the psychological side and from, from such an emotional side. They need to be supportive, I guess. I definitely feel that you're awake. I have to admit that parents sometimes try to not take all those emotional issues their parents struggle their children struggling mainly because parents as well really scared that if they will take it seriously if they will pay attention to their issues it could just uh, be augmented it could increase in numbers and they're probably scared of that those open speaking like freely free speaking with their ch children could lead to not good um, results and outcomes so i also think that maybe some parents uh, still regard their children as little child because i have my friend who sometimes suffers some mental issues or just suffers stress, depression, but her mother doesn't care about it. Like, mm -hmm. huh? you have such stress? Oh, this is like strange. Yes, always his, her mother says like that as he, she uh, treats to my friend like as a child. In my opinion, there are some parents, such parents who regard their children as young. Yeah, this is possible. Can you repeat the question? But I have to join now. Yes. Uh, some parents now don't uh, take their children's mental issues or emotional issues seriously. What do you think about this? Yeah, more and more parents um, get used to take their mental issues, their parents. Uh, it is not uh, difficult for this parent. Um, yeah, I think um, every child has some problem during develop, during develop, yeah. Uh, also, I have some problem and I think uh, in this situation, parents uh, must uh, give us some uh, help or just like that so uh, solution, maybe with uh, support. Support. Uh, maybe with some um, physical symptoms. I'm sorry, I want to add something. Uh, I think parents um, always get their children uh, as a child when they're 20 or when they're 15. Uh, but that's why I think most parents um, should be friend for their children it's the best way yeah being friend for um, their child uh, is the best way for parents and for their children especially when their children are at the teens uh, period yeah I yes uh, in addition all parents want to their um, parents some uh, how um, ch ch uh, children must be uh, going to be our doctor only good occupations and parents want to eat okay let's understand uh let's understand parents also after the after work nobody want to talk yeah you are uh how can i say they are just tired not about uh it's not about wishes or it's not about opportunity they just uh they are empty inside because after work after full work day after such kind of uh issues in the outside everybody is tired especially in the evening 
after the really difficult day, they just uh, have no emotional opportunity to speak with their children. They love their children, but they are just tired, mental tired. What do you think? We should also understand them because, of course, every parent loves their children. Maybe they just have no information how to speak with the teenagers because they are also humans. Parents aren't uh, ideal persons, yeah? Ideal people. They are just humans. So they can also t uh, make mistakes sometimes. They are also tired at the evenings. They have also some problems in a in the world. So we should also understand them. We are teenagers and we think only about our problems like nobody loves me, nobody supports me, but we should understand our parents also. They have so many problems in outside, in the workplace. They try to give us the best uh, facilities in life. And they also parents at first time, they have no experience of being parents. So we should be, um, we should understand them also. It's not just about they don't like me or they just don't want to stick with me. They are tired. They are humans as us. So we should understand them also. Yes, yes. you're definitely right. Yeah, you're right. You're right, yeah. But there is like the way to deal with this problem, in my opinion. Although they felt tired after heavy work, there are two days. I mean, weekends, they don't attend. The Most of them, I'm saying not all of them, maybe most of them don't go to work or sometimes spend their money at home. I think these two days, are the best way to socialize with their children or to listen to the problems which their children are suffering or like that. This is always, this is like possible to deal with this problem as well. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we discussed with you, but in this, uh, in such kind of situation, teens, uh, don't uh, keep a secret from their parents if, uh, and emotions. If teens can tell all their secrets and emotions and feelings to their parents, in this uh, case, parents can help their children. Yeah, so, uh, in mental um, disease or uh, maybe social uh, problems and some problems at the school or uh, college and uh, etc. So there is some, there are reasons why teenagers don't want to speak with their parents, don't want to share with them their secret. There are, uh, secret. There are some reasons for this. And I think the reason why is the problem is in their relationships. Because when you say your secret for someone, you should believe to this person. You should uh, respect this person. And sometimes when you uh, tell our secrets to our parents, they can just um, ignore us or they couldn't understand us sometimes. Yeah. But, uh, um, you know, if it's not all about can, not understanding, mm, 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 for example, parents can worry about their children. It's not all about what they don't want to talk with uh, us, for example. If uh, we're just thinking that if we would talk, it's if we will um, just start saying our problem for our parents, they will start worrying about us. And all day in their mind, our words will like be like a circle. And it's we're just um, thinking about our parents too. Okay. Yes, of course. In addition, maybe but children don't uh, often speak about it. Okay. And maybe what they have girlfriends or one friends during the develop and teenagers. Uh, especially, yeah. I'm in my opinion, uh, uh, childrens afraid of parents mm, for speak about it therefore it was sacred always no it is sacred always 
We said now once that uh, teenagers right now struggling with those mental issues. And what do you think, in your opinion, what's the main triggers of such emotional issues of for teenagers? What's the main culprit? For example, they can uh, struggle with their education and they know that uh, parents, if just they are uh, let's take an example. They're just struggling with Korean language or something like that. They can say for their parents that I don't understand this or I have a problem with this. They know that their parents don't understand it. And there are other issues, for example, lifestyle issues or um, or relationship issues. If uh, they're just thinking there is any ways and any problems which can we talk with our parents and problems which we cannot. That's all. Yeah, you're just yes, Definitely, I, ag I agree with her. Maybe parents uh, didn't understand or don't want to understand their children's mental emotions or just like, the, just like that experience. Maybe parents doesn't uh, lay for this. Sometimes teenagers, when, whenever they battle with particular uh, mental disorder, this is mainly triggered by means of environment they are living and socializing in. People's, even those friends, close friends, could negatively impact to their just a mental condition. Their words, their insulting remar remarks, scornful taunts they are receiving at school could actually degrade mental health of teenagers. And I guess this is one of the common issues teenagers in those milestones are struggling with. Yes, uh, let's begin next question. You are continue. So if you wish to change the topic of our theme, I want to talk about domestic violence. How do you think that uh, violence that occurs at home affects family members, how it affects it, uh, I think it initially affects the teenagers. This is also related to the theme of teenagers, obviously, or not only like uh, adolescents, maybe young children as well. While parents are fighting with each other or just uh, have conflict about some social life problems, this can affect to the mental uh mental condition of children like they can show this uh brutality maybe by looking at their parents at some uh social place like at their schools or some study center at, at everywhere i think mm -hmm. this can be known from their uh behavior yeah the domestic brutality the teenagers, children are, are dealing with while they're at home could turn them into psychopaths even. This is one of uh, like consequences people might face with later on. You know, our society likes to ignore this kind of problems. They think that it's just problem of their family. No, it's not about family. It's about our future. It's about society because everything, every uh, thing in our life, every situation is uh, the cause of such kind of problems in their family. People who have abused in their family, brutality, I don't know, people who fight with each other and their family never become good. Their children will ne never will be normal. Yeah, it's we shouldn't ignore this kind of situations and it's really bad that we just sit sit in front of the tally or some kind of movies where our neighbors just fighting just starting to shout to each other 
when they just fight with their even children, they use uh, physical abuse for their children, they become ill. But we just ignore this kind of situation. We say, no, it doesn't matter if they are a problem. Not, we shouldn't do this thing. Oh my God, it's so big problem. It's so difficult thing. It's so deep thing that couldn't debate it because it's bad. It's obvious that we, sh we should do something. We have been doing nothing for uh, having great family. We just ignore each other. And it's really big and harmful problem with our, uh, to our society, I think. We shouldn't ignore them. If we heard some kind of voices or if we saw some kind of uh, people in the street, especially women, children, with... Um, I don't know how to say this word with some kind of wounds in their body. We should ask questions. We should go to the policeman. We should do something to dispose of this problem. Yeah. We shouldn't ignore this. Okay, uh, I think well, that well, children cannot stop this. Where they can, just, can just, uh, just can, uh, uh, can uh, 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 go to the psychology. Uh, who or can something like that, something I think. Like not everything is allowed to do that. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Please talk about the topic. What I talk about? Yeah, can you repeat yeah, my question? question? Would you please calm down? Please respect each other and talk one by one. I just I want to say that not everything is related for children. Just we can't say for our parents, just uh, don't quarrel with each other. That uh, for stopping or preventing it, uh, they should go to like a, a, some kind of sociology uh, tests or try something between uh, themselves, I think. And I think moreover, um, so that you said, you mentioned that, children what they are seeing from their uh, family they are doing it they can do it by going to outside i think that no 50 50. for example in everyone's everyone has their brain and uh, everyone can think in their horizon you know and if uh, the children is uh is seeing the quarrels in their home some people can understand that we can't do it uh for another people and some of the children can do it for another's it's related for the thinking horizon of the people. If the children is stupid, it's like this person is repeating it for another one. Definitely right. People in those toxic relationships bear their abusive partners, for instance, um, mainly because they underestimate themselves. They think that they do deserve such a relationship. Their personality, they are entirely, they entirely deserve such abusive relationship from their partner. But we never have to underestimate ourselves. We have to have a worth, self-worth. And we have to boost our self-image about ourselves. Those people who are partners are beating each other up for being jealous because of jealousy or because of particular disagreements or questions that led to disputes. We don't have to be, be tolerant towards such relationships. It's completely abnormal. It's not typical. It has to be accepted. Every woman and every man in particular relationships, we have to be capable of evaluating relationships towards positive side, not degraded. We have to be able to value our personality and we have to worth, consider ourselves worthy. We have to consider that we worth the best in the world. In that cases, I guess we can escape such toxic relationships and domestic violence. Yes, I agree with you. Yeah, we can. Guys.
Guys, uh, okay, I'm going to ask a question. I'm going to know the, your opinion about a particular topic, which I'm so interested in. What do you think? Now, most parents discourage their children uh, like the, the, about their ambitions or goals. For instance, especially girls, I'm not talking about, about boys. Girls just want to study at foreign countries. But some of parents like just say, no, you cannot go there. You mustn't go there because you couldn't live there independently or like that. The best way is to study you in your own hometown. What do you think of this opinion? I think it's uh, the worst thing. Speak. But just uh, mm. parents should like they should um, give them way to go to a foreign country because by going to foreign country they can find themselves or to study in the better college university and be um, a good profession of the year job in the future. I think I don't understand these kind of parents who are, who are saying, no, you can't go. They're just stopping um, from their dreams, you know, children from their dreams. Yes, of uh, but I can course. understand such kind of parents. Most parents um, get used hello? to discovering or uh, giving some help for their children, especially girls and boys. I think uh, mother, uh, every mother is first friend for girls, also for me. My first uh, responsible, very responsible for my life, my friend is, I mean, my mother. I think every girl has a best friend, which is uh, her mothers and mothers get used to discovering and giving a help during the dev develop especially teenagers or and all kind of girls because uh, girls uh, don't want to speak uh, about their targets or goals for her uh, father or brother sister or just like that family connection it's so, it takes uh, just out of time topic that before we're talking about yeah, uh, we're talking about nothing. Parents, you know? Yeah. Yes. As uh, here one guy was going to talk about was going to talk in my opinion. Yes, are there be a yeah, it's me. Yeah. Um so uh I was talking about the situation of the parents who doesn't allow this um their girls or their children to abroad in order to study. And I completely disagree with that, Madina, because um, I really uh, know and I understand such kind of parents because they really feel fear. They are afraid of their children. Uh, like what will happen in that country? Uh, are they would be safe? Or um, like they're concerning about such kind of problems because it's not that easy to go to abroad and live there, especially for girls. And they have to um, be in any position. Therefore, they feel fear from that. But I'm not against for that. And um, if, like, um, I don't know why. Like, uh, actually, in some cases, their parents feel fear from the uh, economic side, and the economic side maybe somehow like poor or things like that. Therefore. There, there would be such a problems. Mm, that's it. Okay. Um, so, uh, however, going to abroad, I think, is the best way to learn how to be independent. If they just stay yeah. at their own hometown, how they learn to be independent? How they just uh, learn something to live in their own life because they don't always live with their parents during their whole life their parents cannot just uh, cannot protect themselves yeah, yeah. We yes, you are yeah. Both sides absolutely right so, uh, in some cases uh, the parents do, uh, don't trust to the um, like to the children, uh, at first the children need to be like to deserve the trust of their parents, and then it would be great. It would be great experience to go to the abroad. 
Yeah, you I know think... what? If the girl has a chance and if the girl has um, got an opportunity to go to the foreign country, yeah, they should go. There is another way. The parents should not stop them if they have an opportunity. One, the main reason why parents probably don't want their children to study overseas is uh, probably because they are feeling um, a feeling like a fear of losing their children. They guess that they would see better life and would probably won't come back and leave their parents behind. This fear of being or losing their ch children, the fear of being alone scares them so much. And that was, that's why they even could just um, could, um, use particular strict um, probable rules or try to just restrict their children. That's not good in that case. I guess that to some extent, independence should be given for the children because dependence on parents is not the best way and that, that won't um, keep up till, till the grave, I guess. Yes, I definitely agree with you. And uh, nevertheless, I'm a boy, uh, but um, when I ask going to the bro from a mother, she really won't like she really doesn't want to let me go to the abroad to us um, because of that feeling uh, she feel that fear like i will leave and never come back uh, it happens yeah a lot even boys just encounter such problems as than girls and in some cases our nationality um the mount uh, the mindset of the population is just structured like that. The, they are limiting their goals. But every parent wants to uh, give the best education to the children. In some cases, um, they feel fear. Yeah, that, because of that fear. Yes. Emails. Okay. I can think. Speak, guys. Can, can I speak? Yes, yes. yes. So, <laughs> we, should, we should say both, both sides of coin. In the one hand, there is a teenager who wants to study abroad, to have experience, to go uh, to the outside abroad and to see some, some kind of countries uh, with their big goals. On the other hand, there are parents who love their children. And let's imagine, okay, I'm a teenager. I want to study abroad. I have big goals. I have, I want to have a big experience of life. I want to live to, uh, move to another country just for having a great education and great opportunity for my future children. But let's imagine that I have a children. As a mother, I was afraid of um, afraid of this situation in my life because you know, children are children all the time, even if they are fifty years old. It's really difficult to um, to allow to their to your child. Let's imagine that we are parents. What we should do? Because I'm really afraid of this situation in the future. Yeah, nowadays I say to my mother, no, I want to go abroad and study. It's my future. Yeah, but that's amazing that I'm a parent. I don't want to do this because uh, it doesn't matter is it boy or girl. It's my child. It's my little child and going, uh, going to study abroad without me, without any anyone without any siblings at the other country of course it's a big problem for parents but it's also a big problem for teenagers and in every situation there are two sides of coin so we should understand teenagers 
who want to change the world. And we also should understand parents. So, yeah, every issue has two sides, I think. Definitely, you are completely right. Both sides should be considered. Parents really scared to let their children go abroad, go abroad because especially girls, because they consider females as weak gender and they, in their minds, they guess that they could be physically abused or assaulted by strangers. They, this, um, this fear never leaves them calm down themselves while they're, while they're going to stay here. Yeah, I guess, yeah. So if that's all, we could no. cover. It. If there are any questions, like, let's turn to another question. Okay. okay. Uh, guys, what do you think? Yesterday we talked about your uh, the worst personal quality that you want to get rid of. Let's um, today talk about just the best quality you have and as well you're proud of just say about this hey let's it's, it's really difficult no no what? i think you know you know your best quality um yeah who knows their personal personal trait that they are proud of what of your like character feature you really love? Even if you don't know, maybe your friends could say this. Uh, I mean, before your friends, uh, when I were say about it, your good quality, yeah. Let's think about that. Really interesting. Okay. Oh, can I speak? Yeah. Yes. Of course, let me tell about let me tell about my quality when I proud of my this uh, maybe character. I can dance all kind of musics and tunes or just like that also folklore musics, and I am afraid of my this um, quality, which is really neat. When I listen music, I have to harmony. Therefore, um, I. Uh, have to learn about it from uh, different type of people for example in america in dubai or just like the international uh, countries and which was really interesting for me and it was amazing therefore i get used to dancing with international people in somewhere or everywhere maybe during my travel uh, and but i can Ah, but Charles okay. Zohan, this is not personal quality, I think. This is like your ability, your like natural aptitude, this might be. But just say about your personal quality. Yeah? Ah, uh, dancing dancing is not it, yeah? Yes, yes. Dancing is I think physical ability in my opinion. Uh-huh. Uh, maybe um, it is understanding uh, people and uh, being sociable and communicate with anyone at ease. Is that thing? Yeah, you are right. Yes. Yeah, also I can understand. Uh, the thing I most people like tell me about my personality is the thing that I never judge um, like things or actions people always take towards particular problem. Everybody if you're um, like um, single dilemma from different side, they can look forward it completely differently and they take random kind of actions even if it is for someone really practical